Tree Grows Up by Marfi Ferguson Delano. Look! What's that squirrel eating? It's an acorn. Squirrels love to munch on crunchy acorns. Acorns drop from oak trees in the fall. Squirrels eat many of them, but they don't eat them all. The squirrels miss this acorn. One by one, falling leaves cover it. The wind blows soil over it. In winter, snowflakes blanket the acorn in white. Sprout. When spring comes, the shell of the acorn splits open. A tiny root peeks out and pokes down into the soil. Soon, a little green stem with little leaves pushes up and reaches towards the sun. It's a baby oak tree. Day by day, the baby tree grows. Its stem, called a trunk, becomes harder. By the end of the summer, it's as tall as a pencil. Year by year, the young tree grows. When it's five years old, it's tall enough for people to stand under. Songbirds perch on its slim branches. Chirp, chirp. Just like you, a tree needs food to live and grow. But a tree can make its own food. Sunshine helps the leaves turn air and water into a sugary food. This food flows through the veins in the leaves to every part of the tree. Every fall, when the weather turns chilly, the tree's leaves stop making food. They change from green to red to brown. Then they dry up and fall off. Brrr! In winter, the tree looks dead, but it's not. It's just resting. It rests all winter long. Spring brings rain and warm sunshine. The oak tree wakes up. New leaves spread wide to catch the sunlight. The tree keeps growing taller and taller. Its trunk and branches grow thicker and thicker. Squirrels scurry up and down the trunk. A family of birds nest on a branch. Bloom! One spring, when the oak tree is about 30 years old, surprise! Small flowers grow next to the new leaves. After a few weeks, the flowers fall off. Little knobs form where the flowers used to be. They are baby acorns. Over the summer, they get bigger and bigger. In the fall, the acorns drop from the tree. Many animals come to feed on the fallen acorns. Chipmunks, wild turkeys, bears, blue jays, deer, and squirrels, of course. So big. The oak is now a grown-up tree. It will keep making acorns for the rest of its long life. It will keep growing taller. Its trunk and branches will grow thicker and thicker. One day, a branch will be strong enough for a swing. Whee! Up, out, and down. A tree gets bigger in three ways. It grows up, it grows out, and it grows down. The top of a tree is called the crown. It's made up of branches and twigs. Tiny tubes inside the tree trunk carry water from the roots to the leaves. Roots hold a tree in place. They keep it from falling over when strong winds blow. Growing up. Every year, new shoots push out of the buds at the tips of branches and twigs. This causes the twigs to grow longer and the tree to grow taller. Growing out. Every year, a new layer of wood forms underneath the bark of the trunk and branches. This makes the trunk and branches get thicker. Growing down. Most of the tree's roots are underground. Every year, the roots spread wider and deeper. That's how the tree grows down. Home sweet home. Birds and squirrels aren't the only animals that make their home in oak trees. Here are just a few of the many different animals that live in oaks. What animals have you seen in oaks or other trees near your home? So downy woodpecker, honeybee, white-footed mouse, tree cricket, morning cloak butterfly, gray tree frog, and skunk are some of the other animals that live in oak trees. Super seeds. Most trees begin their lives as seeds. Seeds come in many different shapes and sizes. An acorn is a seed. It grows into an oak tree. Acorns have a smooth, hard shell with a rough, bumpy cap. Here are some other kinds of seeds. How many of them have you seen? So there's cherry seeds, apple seeds, and pine cone seeds. 
Leaf rubbings. Step one, collect leaves in different shapes and sizes. Step two, place a leaf on a hard flat surface with the bottom side of the leaf facing up. Step three, put a piece of thin paper over the leaf. Step four, gently rub the side of a crayon back and forth on the part of the paper over the leaf. Be sure to rub over the entire leaf. And there you have it, lovely leaf art.